Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Pearl's Garage. What's going on today? Well, I done got the dart unloaded. Let's check her out. Now, one of the things that I didn't get with the car was the keys. Well, I know there's a lot of stuff in the trunk, so I got to get in there to find out what is all in there. She said there, all the engine parts and everything. Uh, I don't know what happened to the original. I think it's a 225. I don't know. I, I don't know what slant six is in it, but it's been taken apart and most of it's in the trunk. So I got to figure out how to get into the trunk of this thing, which is pretty common on these. A lot of times you don't get keys with them. <clears throat> Now, the first thing everybody wants to do is take a screwdriver and dig in there and pop this all out and then drill it out and all of that stuff. All you do is make a poor mess of all of that. And this is Mopar. This ain't Chevy, this ain't Ford. So prices on this kind of stuff, phew, goes through the roof. So you do everything you possibly can to keep that from happening. You don't want to break stuff on a Mopar or your, uh, your budget will be blown just like that. So, how do you get into the trunk without hurting stuff? I'm gonna show you. You can see here, I've already got the back seat out, which on this Mopar, it was actually kind of cool. I'll show you. Just like in the Mercury, the back seat goes into these little clips back here. There, you can see it right there. See how it just clicks in? That makes it pretty simple. This. Woo, I checked this on eBay. Holy cow, they want a lot of cardboard. <laughs> anyway. The back seat, the part, the backrest of the back seat, usually there's bolts that bolt it in. On this, on the 66 or 65 Dodge Dart, they're clipped in with a stuff that is very reminiscent of wire loom holders. <laughs> so you got to get in there and bend these back and then the seat pops forward and these are the clips here that hold the seat up, the back seat in and then they slip up and then turns like this and then the seat slides out this way till you can get room to get it out because these cars kind of bend in on the sides so it's kind of conical shaped kind of cone shaped up like this so that seat's got to come down this way and then you can get it out anyway then you pull your ultra expensive cardboard here <laughs> I couldn't believe how much they wanted for that when, it was, when I looked it up on eBay. And look at there, you're wide open in there. You can get all kinds of goody stuff in there and crawl right in there. And I can already see a valve cover, the rim I was missing, and there's the head. Okay, so I got goodies to get out of there. Now what I'll do is I'll crawl in there and I'll undo the trunk latch and drop it back out of the way and then the trunk will come up and I'll show you how to pull the clip on the trunk lock and then the, that lock cylinder will just slide out all in one piece. Now I have a local locksmith guy that can cut me keys for it. So if you do it this way, it saves all of that stuff. He charges a little bit to do it, but to buy a new one, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's all money that you can save just by being a little careful, using your head and working through the problem instead of going in like a caveman with a flat blade screwdriver and a drill bit. <laughs> I don't know how many of these old cars that I have come across that people have just destroyed the trunk, uh, trunk lock, trying to dig it out and try to get in there to open the trunk when it's so easy if you just go through the other way. All right, so stay tuned here and we're gonna go through the trunk into there and get that out of there. All right, you can get that trunk open. Find out what all goodies are in there. Stay tuned and here we go. Now you see right there, that's the trunk latch. I gotta get on there and undo that. So let me get you set up here. We're just gonna set you right there. I hope I got this. All right, get the ratchet now. Ugh.
Okay, we got the latch undone. Now you just open the trunk. Easy peasy, not so easy. Now I'll crawl myself out of here and come around. So, we got the trunk open. And as you can see, I didn't damage it in any sort of way. And now, all it's holding it is this clip right here. I stick a screwdriver in that right there and pry that out. Now, see if I can do this. Take that out. Right here, it's not all the way open, as you can see. It kind of covers that top edge, and I don't want to force it because I don't want to hurt the trim here. So what I'll do is I'll loosen this up, pop the trim, and then I can pull it out. It's good and free now, it just can't clear on there. So, that's how you take a trunk lock off without damaging anything. I hope that helps you out there, and in the meantime, get out there and uh, get some metal hot. And uh, we'll keep these old girls on the road where they belong.